Look at you. Look at you. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark, where today is the day we go after the Mega Shalon. That is the massive turtle. But first off, I did finally get my Feroxes done. They ended up with these colors, and that is their stats. I ended up getting twins that were too fitty, and they had all the stats I needed on them, so I just stuck with them. And then here is one of the ones I got from. This is the Ferox right here, and in which I have decided to name him Gizmo, since so we do got Gremlin here, and now we got Gizmo. Okay, but enough with the little guys. It is time to talk about the massive turtle. Now, I know that there are three 150s on the map. Um, I am planning on only going for health and stamina, though, on them. They're really not meant for fighting. They're legit like a Bronto mobile base. All right, it's legit just going to be like my mobile base for this. And here's the Mega Shalon. little search, as you can see, I guess... Huh, there's only two on the map. Uh, level. Yeah, no, there's only two. And, well, I guess we definitely have a first option that we have to go for. Which, oh, he's close. We might have to run for a bit, actually. He's not, he's not that close. But, in terms of, actually, ones that we can go look at real quick, we have this one. It is level 50. And they are pretty big holy moly i actually thought these guys would be a little bit smaller than that oh my you are bigger than i thought is that a helicopter on that is a helicopter on nice good thing they're friendly okay and there is the mega shalon i want luckily for me arrows work underwater now the way we have to tame these guys is that we have to look for schools of fish and I am going to Gamma up because it is a little dark in the water, and most importantly, that's not what I needed. I needed this. Whoops. I need to toggle my tech bowl, cycle, there we go. Now this should highlight any enemies that are coming at me for me, especially while we're in the water. It's just a nice little touch I figured that we should probably use while we're here. Now to tame these guys. We have to find a school of fish. And also, I've already looked at this guy's stats. He has 35 in health. Alright. Now, depending on how he rolls afterwards, like once we get him tamed, that health can jump drastically. Now, what I think I need is one of those. One of these fish schools right here. So what we'll see is, it will say here shortly, you are being targeted by a school of fish. See? A micro swarm now what we're gonna do as you can see it is following us as long as we keep its aggro okay stay within range we have to get to the turtle dang it ah! all right I'll get these guys to the turtle and then I'll get back to you guys okay so this is the closest I've gotten them. Ah, I lost them again. Come on. Hey, target me. Target me. Basically just hold still, like, in them. Or near them. Dang it. He's kind of swimming in, like, circles. So hopefully he will swim back. I can get these guys to target me, if they would. So please, desperately. Okay. Hey, there we go. I got the swarm to start targeting him. Now we can do is pull this up. Boom. And basically, they'll just tick up slowly. Now, now what I need to do is make sure... Shit. Fish like that don't come running up to eat my swarms. So, I gotta keep Saber's Tooth Salmon off my, my swarms. Luckily, Tech Bow hits underwater like a hammer. I'm basically slapping these fish with a hammer. Look at that. So that thing will just keep following him and ticking up and up and up. So yeah, this is a pretty simple tame.
I love bow fishing too. I've always wanted to go actually do bow fishing. I've done normal fishing, you know, cast the line out, sit there, drink a couple beers, roll your reel back in because the fish nibbled all the bait off of it. All right, you know, you know, fishing. Okay, so they are doing pretty good on him. He's at 30%. I've not had to deal with too many fish at all. Uh, the only fish I'm scared of is that one over there that's glowing. That there is an X Factonatus, like that one up there, from the Arc Editions. So, yeah. Not really a fan of them. They're kind of scary. I always feel like they're going to annihilate me. Like, if one grabs me, it, will, it can just drag me away. Like, it... it it's seriously terrifying. Because it could just, like, yoink my aunt. My butt. My butt. Can't say that. It will yoink my butt. It just drag me off into the depths of the abyss. So it appears a saber tooth salmon spawns every now and again and just kind of chases after him. So, luckily, my guy can just keep swimming in a circle in the same exact spot. Which I find, honestly, just helpful. The fact that he's swimming in circles... Um, I don't know if your guys' would be swimming in circles. I've gotten lucky and mine's constantly swimming in circles. And it's not losing any taming effectiveness. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's legit. All I've seen is a saber-toothed salmon actually go after those. None of the colacanth want them. Um, if you guys are also wondering, I'm pretty sure the only thing in the water that should target the Mega Shallan itself as well is going to be megalodons so if you see the sharks going near him take them out before they can get ahead also i think this is my fish that's going after my group it like just keeps going in a circle we need to be careful we can't miss hits dang it we can't miss hits especially when he's in the background i shot one of those and i thought i was gonna nail him and it just luckily luckily went right underneath I ain't gonna lie, these guys are also really stupidly easy to tame. No doubt about it. Like, He's like still taming. The school of fish keep staying with him. I guess, yeah, that's their school of fish there. You're ticking up, right? Yeah, you're ticking up. So, I guess, yeah. I, oh, I thought these guys would be like a harder tame. They're really easy. Honestly. This is just so easy. I, I mean, this right here, like, just straight on, like, looking at my recording and counting on, like, the time, like, I definitely wasn't recording. This has taken me 12, maybe 15 minutes. Pops. Alright? Like, this is so easy. I don't know why I didn't do this first. I guess, I guess a lot of the Genesis ones should be easy. You yourself an island, I reckon. I tamed myself an island? Oh, yes, I did, Elena. I have tamed myself an island. Now, time to throw on one of the cryopods I got. That way I can cryo this guy up. Boom, 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 boom. So we'll take him back to the base. We'll get a better look at them on a piece of like flat ground. Then I might head out here and hold up, hold up. What did your health come at? You are a third. <gasps> you didn't roll the greatest, but you rolled a lot better than most. Thank you. Well, actually, beforehand, what we're going to do here is this. We're going to run over. There's our base there. We're going to run over here and check out the other Mega Shallan. See if it has any good stats or not. Okay, this other 150 does happen to have good stamina. So I will be coming back for him. Or, I wonder, do I have to be nearby? I probably should be nearby. So I'll come back to this guy. I'll be back for you, buddy. Don't worry. Okay, we're back at the base. So, we're gonna toss this guy out here on the platform. Oh my god. Uh... Maybe not? You are huge. You look so... You're as big as the platform outside the water, right? Oh my god, you are massive. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You are huge. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to need the other one. 
I think, though, that other one is a male, so I will just hit you with a gender swap now. You should be within range. And then we'll get going for the next guy. Did that not count? It did not! Oh my god. Hit you. Come this way, buddy. That should be better. Okay, so... I got the two Mega Shalon giant turtles that I need. But I might have a problem. Uh, space. Space might be a problem. Okay, so I think I've gotten it resolved. Uh, Gizmo, come here. You are a little bit in a shell. Sorry. Who am I hitting? I need Gizmo. Come here. I will get you in a minute. So, what we need to do is just basically... How do I make you guys breedable? Okay. So, like, after this entire confusing time... Oh my god, you've actually sank quite far. I think I figured it out. So, we have to go deep. Okay, guys. So... I finally found a place where I could go and do uh, the Mega Shalom breeding, and that actually happens to be right at the motor uh, terminal. <laughs> like, this, this is the motor terminal. I will not lie. This is motor. So, Megalodons have finally spawned in. So, I just need to find area I can breed the Megalashalons where it's deep enough. Okay, so again, still in the motor area, but I think I found some place where we should at least have enough room to get yep, you guys going. So I'll make sure you are enabled and then you will just throw down there. And boom, behavior. Get close enough, you are! Yes, perfect. So, what I think I'm going to do, we're going to get a bunch of eggs, so we need one that grabs the stamina from you, and the health from you, and we just merge them. Well, I guess we need to get an egg that has, yeah, your guys' stats combined, basically. Okay, guys, so I got them breeding. I've gotten myself six eggshells here, so the, they're over there. I've moved away so I can safely teleport back home. Like a so. Now it is a little dark and I am sorry about that. I will gamma up like a such. And I keep running into this, but yeah. Here we go. We're going to throw the eggs into it. What we're going to do. That one has a new mutation. <laughs> we're going to do is that one there. This one, very first one has a 46 and a 44. Which we won't. Same with it. I, w I would honestly just take you two. I'm just going to breeze through the other one. See if we got any better. What is wrong with me? Holy moly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to swap these over to automatic as well. So I don't forget. Okay. But yeah. How are you doing? Ooh. Which one would I prefer? Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with the first two. These guys can all get cracked. Okay. This guy right here. That is just... Oh my god, the lips on him. Okay, so... We are back with the next batch of eggs. So these are the two that came up after... Uh, the next guy and here they are so these are the the children of the ones that we just hatched sorry need to phrase that better uh, but here they are so what we're looking for is basically two that match see like this one here is a mutant mutant I can't even talk today oh my god I'm losing my mind see like one and you guys actually even are you guys eat no you guys have one off but we're so close to match 
So one and four are close. Uh, I would definitely not take you. I'm looking for ones that match. And I think I just found one that match. Nope. How do you match up with you, though? Uh, actually, seven and four match pretty well. Hold up. So you two are duds. Uh, let me double check you again. I might hang on to you. Oh no. None of these really look that great, so I think I'm just going to scrap them all, in fact. And we're going to go back and get another batch. Another hour of waiting! Alrighty, another batch. I only got six this time. I didn't go with the... What was it like last time? I got like seven or eight. Yeah, so this time I only grabbed six. Or I only wanted... I got tired of waiting, let's be honest. I full on got tired of waiting. And one and two are perfect. I will actually absolute, absolutely keep them. It just looks like I have to change the gender. Um, this one, your color is off. If that first one was was just different, it would be perfect. And yeah, so we're just going to take one and two here. So I'd say that actually is hopefully, if I am reading those stats correctly, that, that should be our breeding pair. Alrighty, so we are all technically done with the Mega Shalons now. I am going to go throw them in here. Now, what we are going to work on now is our personal Mega Shalon. And here they are. So I'm going to throw them in there. Basic stats. I just dropped my Xbox controller on the floor and it turned on. Oh my god, all the joysticks just bursted off because it's a pro. Okay, yep, fixed it. I dropped my Xbox controller on the ground and busted. Uh, the controllers popped off. It's one of the elite ones or whatever. So you can change out the length of the joysticks and all that. Just legit shot them across the room. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to get this guy growing up. So we'll make sure that you are activated and making sure you are imprinting. It's time to hatch us up a Mega Shalon. Look at you! Look at you! Welcome. You are so damn adorable. <laughs> Look at that little face. Alright, follow me this way. Okay, so he is... She is about halfway now, a little over, actually. You are imprinting. This is taking quite a bit of time to raise these guys up, so... I think... In total time, I think for these guys, it's an hour and a half to grow up. It's been 45 minutes. I just got done eating supper and came back and hit record again so I can show you guys what's going on. Made sure... Oh, I nearly forgot to give myself some food. I'm legit just running off and going AFK hey, okay, while these guys are growing up. I'm not lying. I'm just coming back to make sure I feed myself. No, he's doing good. She's doing good. So, hopefully... Next time I stop in, she is fully grown. Okay, welcome back. Okay, um, you are a lot bigger than it was last time. What you at? 93%. Okay, we are nearly done with the growing. How's your imprinting? All right, you are, yeah. Imprinting's at 93. Yeah, she goes basically off of there, like, she'll do a burp, like a little every now and again, like a tick timer. She's inside the leg right now. But she'll send out a thing that gives, uh, the imprinting quality, it will match it up with the maturation. So, alrighty, so they are grown up. I'm just gonna back them into the water now. And what we're gonna do is we'll turn you here and we'll line you up like this. boom. There, you're lined up with the face now. So, if we ever decide to, our mega, oh, you know we have to. We have to name him it. So I have decided to name the Mega Shalon Crush after the turtle from Finding Nemo. So yeah, I just thought that was a perfect one. It popped into my head right there at that exact moment. So I've decided, yeah, we're going to change the gender, of course, for it. So that way Crush is a guy. And what we're going to do is mostly, I think, just have you chill here. 
for now. I don't know if we're going to build a base on you or not. But yeah, I think I'm just going to have you... 